and welcome to another adventure to that. Uh, now we just gotta see where are the subrosium. Because I need subscribers and also I need bros to help. Oh. The remains of a god, an abandoned village, Mount Tianhung. Does this mean that the true story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation happened right here, in this village? The time frame certainly matches, so it seems we're in the right area. Let's keep looking around. Maybe this is the true story of the Divine Dance of Devastation. So... Shenha is the Divine Damsel? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an Adeptus, and she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed it earlier. According to this text, the Divine Damsel from the Opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple. And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Oh. The truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shenha said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. Oh, it looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Hey, we've looked everywhere, but still no mention of Sabrosium. Let's have a look over there. Basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhung at dusk, and we'll find us some Sabrosium! Let's go back and tell Shen the news! One year when I was back visiting, I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. And, well. We all know how that story ended. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you still hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, the truth is, I feel nothing at all. It must have been so tough for you all these years. Shenha, we're back! Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenha, it brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end.
Shenhua, look! This tells us how to find Sabrosium! All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake! Hmm. Let's go then. Uh, Miss Shenhua, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts. So I'd like to change them. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth. But now that the main character is standing right here in front of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. It's okay. I like your version. Uh, huh? My master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others is the day that I can truly become part of human society. So, I hope that one day I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others, just like the girl in the opera. But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will continue to think in this way. Don't worry. I believe you will. In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. Shenhua! Yinjin! Cut the chit-chat! Let's go! We can't let someone else beat us to it! I mean, if you want to chat, chat later. We got stuff to do. Over here, huh? All right. By the power of time. Um, um, what? Oh, that's why. Oh, well, seems like we have to go to Provisius first. I was thinking what was affecting me from not getting to the middle of the lake. I mean, we already got there, but... Are you here to see Parcesius as well? Perhaps this place has been forgotten. Oh, 
don't tell me it's that guy again. Let's go! Ugh. I knew it was him. Motion to compel! Rack and ruin! Ah, Star Snatcher? What war are you playing? Let's speak further at the temple. Kind of genuine. Even the bush is back. Um, oops, wrong thing. I want to control time, not that. Sabrosium, come out where we are. Oh, hey, Shell. <sighs> so, this is the thing that you wanted to do. What brings you here? Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? The danger in the sea? Ningguang didn't tell you. Something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According to the contract, as an adeptus, I should not get involved for now. But these things can be unpredictable. I have a contingency plan of my own. So what? Only a single mountain lies between here and Liyue Harbor. If things get out of control, I will defend this place myself. Seems like something is going down. That's everything we need! Let's head back and report in! Paimon's curious if Beatles made any progress. I like that color. Sweet.
Dum dee dum dee dum. It's time to forge our wonder cores. <laughs> The core forging initiate. Oh, goodness. S so, are they okay? This is some top quality ore you found. I think I'll get a good end product out of these. Guess now it's my time to shine. Hey, everyone. How's the A team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a Wonder Core before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to speed. Leave the Wonder Cores to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. Don't worry. <laughs> it won't take me too long. Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti sigils next, but where should we find items relating to the Adepti? I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh, you got this then? Yes. I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing or two about making sigils. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils to her. Master also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. There's so much basic knowledge that I lack. Maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. But either way, I'm very glad to have met you. And I'll take care of those adept eye sigils. Without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. But now that our paths have crossed, we'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. Thank you. So, Master Zhang, I'll need to use your facilities to make the sigils. Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the Adepti arts work. Maybe I'll learn something. Whew. The sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us! Jade Chamber is almost done. Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode over here. If you want to wait, wait for the next episode. Stay tuned and you'll know how it goes and what was Shell talking about. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a comment, leave a like, and also make sure you turn that subscribe button gray. It costs nothing. I say here it again. Alright, anyways. We'll meet you guys all next time.